Hello and welcome to Positive Mental Attitude. I'm Nick. That's Bear. Although I think Bear might be on this Bear Nip. The bears have the same thing as catnip, is there such a thing as bear nip? She looks a bit out of it looking at the moon, but yeah. If not, why not? Let's try and then now, let's get bear nip out there. Part of the bear necessities range, here we go, we'll be millionaires overnight. I'm just making this video just very quickly because something's happened to me in the last few months. Um it's something I wasn't expecting to happen to be honest with you. I've said for a long time to people who know me that I've had something inside me that I need to get out of me. I don't mean that like a tapeworm or you know alien coming out. I started writing music and lyrics and songs when I was 15. Been writing poetry since about 13. I've written loads of little stories, short stories, and sketches, uh, skits, sketches, comedy routines. Written entire comedy stand-up shows just for myself because I'm too scared to get up on stage and do it. But I've always felt like I had something inside me. You know the way people talk about. I've got a novel inside me and they genuinely think that if they had enough time off work to be able to write this novel it never comes out I was the same, I wasn't sure what this thing was and in what format it was going to come out was it going to be poetry I got my little book of uh, poetry on Amazon for the Kindle was it going to be music I got hundreds of songs written very few recorded and I can't do anything about that at the moment because my hand's not working so I can't play guitar um, was it going to be a book? No, it hasn't. It hasn't been. I've written stories, but never really gone any further than that. So this thing has been eating away at me, probably for years and years. I used to take, in the days before mobile phones, right, some early 90s, I'd always have a little notebook with me and a pen. And no matter where I went, if it was on the train on the way into uh, Liverpool or coming back home, I'd be writing lyrics, I'd be writing little things that came into my mind. The kind of thing that I do on Twitter now. So I'm just bored, I'll have music on, and I'll be just randomly, you know, stream of consciousness about what I'm seeing. That's how Apoplectic Apathy got written, one of the poems that's on this channel. Just because I tweeted one day, there's a woman on my train who looks like John Cooper Clark. And when I read it back, that line, I heard it in John Cooper Clark's voice, and an entire poem followed straight after, just like that, so quickly. Um, so I've always felt there's something in there that I need to get out and I could never do it. I couldn't find something to scratch that itch. And now, through the, the stroke videos that I've done, which I don't like showing my face on camera, I don't like it at all, but I've sort of got over that. And being able to be on YouTube and talking about my journey, um, where I've come from, where I am, where I'm going to, it's been cathartic for me. That combined with the podcast that I'm doing about music and looking back at when I was a kid and onwards, I felt like it's, it's, it managed to get something out of me that needed to come out. I found a voice. A voice that I never thought I needed. I've always been a, a mouthy sort. I've always been quite happy to talk about things. But I've always just been with people I know. I'd sit in the pub and crack jokes and what have you. Now all of a sudden, you know, how many um, accounts are there on YouTube is 2.2 billion, I think I've seen someone say on another video, 2.2 billion active accounts on YouTube. So the, the thought that words that I say possibly have a reach that could go into the thousands, if not tens of thousands maybe, you never know. It's, um, it's quite enlightening and I think that's where... I'm starting to at least scratch that itch slightly. I'm going to listen back to the podcast as well. Um, even though I've recorded it and know exactly what words are going to come out and what songs are in there, it takes me back on a little bit of a journey and I instantly am back where I was when I heard those songs or back with the people who were there when it was important to me. So I think it's been really important, especially given where I am, when I'm at home, trying to recover from the stroke. I've got people around me, but it's still, 
it's still difficult at times. I don't feel alone, but I do feel sort of cut off a little bit from my mates that I work with. Um, I've been able to go to footy for three, almost three years now. So I just feel like a little bit cut off, but having stuff like that, it's a little connection back to my past, while at the same time connecting to people now in different places, people I've never met before. And people who might listen to my story and find something that they can you know, they can get hold of and think, yeah, that could affect me. So I'm going to make a few changes and hopefully I've already gone through what Nick's gone through. Or listen to some of the music that I put on the podcast and think, well, yeah, I can see where this journey is coming from and I can see where it's going to. And I like the reasoning behind why he's got to where he has. So my advice, and it's a huge bit of advice to anyone out there, even people who've got YouTube accounts but don't actively post, if you feel the same or you feel like there's something that you want to say but you don't know what, have a think about it. And once you start doing it, you'll understand that it's good to be able to get things out and to know that what you say matters. That's a good way. It's good catharsis. It's been really good for me. It's been healthy. I've needed it at times. After I've been doing a long physio session, and my legs are sore and I'm tired. I can't be bothered watching telly because there's rubbish on there. I'll just sit here and I'll record a podcast. And uh, my brain still works. At least it works to a degree. At least, you know, enough to do this. So, yeah. Get out there and do it, man. Let your voice be heard. I'll watch you. Cheers.